like people come to Atlanta for a weekend and they have the time of their life. It's lit. They going nuts. Bottles popping, chains out, weed down to the neck. I mean, it's going crazy. And you see all these black people in this one setting and you going from another setting to another setting and you're just seeing us and you're seeing party time basically. You're like, oh, I need to pack my bags and I need to go ahead. I need to move down there. Like, it's lit. Moving somewhere because you had one or two or even three lit weekends is crazy. Woo. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aisha. What's poppin'? Um, my channel is composed of many, many different things. I talk about travel. I talk a little bit about lifestyle. I talk about relationships. But most of all, I talk about the city of Atlanta. I have an entire Atlanta series from beginning to end about various different topics on this city. Um, the reason why I feel like I can talk about this city is because I am from here. Born and raised in Georgia, I have lived in Atlanta, um, more importantly, for the last probably 10 years. And then even before that, I only stayed about 35 minutes outside of the city. So when it comes to the outskirts, the inskirts, Metro Atlanta, Atlanta, I know it all. So I'm here to talk about what is going on with this city. If you click the video, I already know why you're here. So continue watching. Without further ado, let's get into my intro because it's a little lit or whatever. And it definitely got that little Atlanta razzle dazzle on it. So let's head into that. Rome wasn't built in a day. And to whom much is given, much is required. Last year, we planted the seed. Together, we will watch it grow. Welcome back. So, why people hate Atlanta? But more importantly, let's talk about why people who move to Atlanta say they hate Atlanta. Um, this has been a topic that has just been going crazy lately on YouTube. So many people have their opinions. So many people have moved here. So many people have left here. It's so many different variations. And what made me want to do this video in particular is because I just want to set the record straight. Like, why I think people who move here, even people who live here hate Atlanta, honestly, um, what I have witnessed happen over the last couple of years is Atlanta, it's still and will always be the Mecca, right? Let's start with the positive. Atlanta will always be a place where black being black thrives. Essentially, you don't feel like you're at the bottom of the totem pole. You don't feel like you're ostracized. You have peers. You have like-minded people that want to do the exact same that you exact same thing that you want to do. And you guys are all coming from far and wide and coming to this city now. Um, I've heard so many people say, oh, you know, everybody here is a transplant. Um, they don't, they're not from here anymore. The people who live here are not from here. And that's not true. Um, literally what I realized even this weekend is Juneteenth weekend, celebrating Juneteenth. And what I realized is all of the things that are popular to do here, um, people who live here like myself don't necessarily go to those events. And it's not because, you know, we don't want to be there. It's just when you live somewhere, living somewhere is so different. Living somewhere and being from somewhere. Let me say both of those at the same time. It's extremely different from moving somewhere and then it's like, boom. Like people come to Atlanta for a weekend and they have the time of their life. It's lit, they going nuts. Bottles popping, chains out, weed down to the neck. I mean, it's going crazy. And you see all these black people in this one setting and you going from another setting to another setting and you're just seeing us and you're seeing party time, basically. You're like, oh, I need to pack my bags and I need to go ahead. I need to move down there. Like, it's lit. Moving somewhere because you had one or two or even three lit weekends is crazy. It's crazy. And I'm saying that because moving somewhere because it's lit, it's, you're gonna get here. You're gonna realize very quickly, which is I, which is what I think is what's happening. It's it depends. It's not like that every time. Like e even for me living here, sometimes I go out and I be having a blast, and other times I be like, "Boo, I'm be, I'm about to be in the house for the summer." You know what I'm saying? Like you never should move anywhere depending on of okay. I had a lit weekend. I had a great time. I made some money that one weekend. That's not a reason to move somewhere. Um, when I think, when I, all the times that I thought about moving somewhere, doing my research, deep diving, outside of visiting a city one, two, or three, or even four times, 
you want to ask questions you want to talk to people who actually live there and say hey what is your true experience of living here like how do you feel moving here like if you guys go back and watch some of my other videos i'll tell you again living here in this city you have to have tough skin you have to be willing to conform and i'm going to talk about some ways you'll be conforming in and you have to be able to hustle and have that drive if you don't have those things moving here I'm going to be honest, you probably are going to hate it here. If you don't like to go out and mingle and meet new people, you're probably going to hate it here. If you're not here and you're business minded, meaning I'm going to start my business, um, I'm going to get a new job, I'm trying to pursue higher limps in my career, you're probably not going to like it here. If you come here and you feeling like, oh, you know, I'm not trying to spend $200 on parking or I'm not trying to pay to get in the club, this is not the place for you. Like, I'm going to be honest, Atlanta is very much, very much Hollywood right now. It's very much you got to spend to play. That meme that's circulating around right now saying it's 200 on occasion just to go out, it's like that here. Like, you're going to spend. And if you're coming here from any other um, state or any other country and it's not like that, you're not going to like it here. You're going to be annoyed. Every time you got to walk out the house, to go hang out with your girlfriends, your guy friends, you're gonna be like, why did I move to this city? Like, it's expensive. And yes, Atlanta has became extremely expensive. You gotta pay to park, not even in the city, you paying to park on Bruford Highway now. Like, in which again, is not necessarily, it's a part of Atlanta, but it's the outskirts, it's considered the outskirts, but you're paying to park, you paying 20, 30, $40 to park here. That's what's going on. When you go out, and you walk in the club and you walk back out the club, you may be paying to get back in. That's what's going on here. You going to eat, the food can be bussing or it can be mid. But guess what? You still spending $150 and you only had one drink, a little appetizer and an entree. That's what's going on here. So in my opinion, back to the title of the video, why I think some people are saying they hate it here, I think that's what's going on and I'm here to set the record straight. If I don't do anything, I'm going to let y'all know, listen, being someone who just moved to Atlanta and you have not even lived here, I would say anywhere from more than three to five years. If you have not lived here in Atlanta more than three to five years, you don't know anything about old Atlanta. You don't know anything about the changes. Like, in my opinion, if you wasn't outside turn on peter street at spin and having a ball if you was not out hanging out at um what's the club that, that everybody used to go to uh, back in the day like if you if you wasn't hanging out and going to obsessions and pulling up having your best fit on i mean if you if you wasn't going to birthday bash back when gucci and all them was like the ones, I mean, it's just so many ways of where I can say like, baby, like you don't know, oh, you really don't know, you don't know, and it's okay. If you moved here during 2020 or after 2020 when the pandemic, the PPPs hit, again, you, you're not, you're not, you're not getting a real depiction of this city, in my opinion. Like everybody knows, I mean, it's no reason for us to sit here and pretend like we don't know. The PPP, the, pa the real pandemic, which is the PPP loan pandemic, that set every, like, Atlanta was on steroids that year. I'm not going to lie, that little 2020 to that 2021 up in that range, hell, I would have moved here too. We were the only city that was open. I mean, we barely, I honestly, y'all, COVID hit March 2020. I remember being inside for maybe two, three months, and then after that, everybody was outside. The, the club was going crazy. Like, it was just a whole different vibe. So I'm saying all that to say, like, if you moved here during that time and then now this is post, essentially this is 2023 now, this is post-pandemic, post-PP, post-stimulus checks. No, Atlanta's not the same right now because during that time, so many people's businesses were being patronized. People had money to spend because they had been in the house. Especially if you coming from one of these other states and y'all had to be in the house, if I'm on Instagram and I'm scrolling and I'm like, oh, Atlanta is open. Let's go down. 
That's why the city was going so crazy because we had people all over coming, spending money. The girls was making money. The guys was making money. Everybody was making money. The city was on steroids. So now what you're seeing now in 2023, you're seeing a major decline from that. Again, if you moved here during that time or if you were sitting at home thinking about, oh, yes, I'm going to move to Atlanta in 2022, the decline started happening in 2022. Things are different now. We're, we're in a depression, guys. I don't know if y'all know this. Recession, depression, same thing. We're in that right now. So you're not going to see. Like, again, I just went out the other night here. It was lit. I had a great time. But for somebody moving from somewhere else, maybe that's not a good time. Like, we went to Peak Pony. We didn't spend a lot of money. We just sat in there kind of drunk, had a little good time, and that was it. But, again, if you're used to coming down here and it's going crazy and it's like, we going, we going like this in the club, like, I don't know. Like, again, it just depends on the night. It depends on what's going on. It's, it all depends. But what I hate to see... And, and I'm not even going to say hate to see because I really don't care. But because this is a part of my channel, I'm going to talk about it. Like, I just be feeling weird when I see people who have not, who are not from here. Let's just be honest. People who are not from here and not have, and have not lived here at least more than five years. Again, where you were pre, mid, during, post pandemic. No, I don't want to see nobody talking about oh Atlanta's not the same anymore how do you know <laughs> no seriously like how do you know like I would love for somebody in my comments to tell me like how do you know because unless you lived here during that time then you wouldn't be able to say that you wouldn't be able to really say that and like I said visiting somewhere seeing posts on Instagram, posts on YouTube, whatever may have you, and seeing like someone's highlight reel, which we talk about that a lot on this channel. Seeing highlights of something is not, a, again, a reason enough for me to say, hey, I need to move there. You really gotta spend time. I'm just saying if you're moving here to be on the scene. Now, I talk about this a lot on my channel as well. You're moving to Atlanta and you want to start a business or you want to see what it's like to have, you know, again working in a corporate setting seeing people like you like-minded people then that's different this message is not for you this is for people who move in here and kind of want to be lit you want to be with the in crowd you want to network maybe you do youtube maybe you are some type of influence for influencer for instagram tiktok i mean it's so many different ways to you know be an influencer these days if you're moving here again you have to understand to me this is the best place to be as far as again we here us we're here we're thriving we get invited to the night the latest and the nicest things you don't have to be so the um what am i trying to say like the in crowd is not so tight like for instance i have friends who live in la i've been to la at least eight different times i've thought about moving to la but when i think about you know again my blackness and what i care about um, I don't know, again, if L.A. has what I would want as far as, you know, a lot of my friends tell me, yeah, you see celebrities and this and that, but it's not that many of us in the, uh, in the us if that it is, again, are places like Compton and over in that side of L.A., which is fine, but it's like you're thinking about moving to a certain part. You want to feel welcome, and that's big for me. Um, when I think about where I want to live and if I ever leave Georgia, I absolutely have to live somewhere where I feel comfortable in my blackness. That's very and extremely important to me, which is why I understand why so many people want to move to Atlanta. I understand why it is the black mecca. I understand why people start businesses here. People start families here. This is the place to be, but to come here and maybe go out one, two, or even three times and not have a good time, to me, is not enough to sit back and say, oh, Atlanta not the same. I'm just here to set the record straight. Like, that's all this video was intended to be. And also, too, I want to say, like, living here, you, you can pick a side. You don't have to decide, hey, I want to be somebody who wants to be out all the time and be around. You can choose to be a homebody. Like, that's the great thing about the South and living in the Southern states. Like, you can choose to be on the outskirts. You don't have to be in the mix. You don't have to be in the city with everything going up. Like, 
you know, everybody says they hate Atlanta for different reasons, right? Your reason could be, you know, when you go out, nobody's dancing. Your reason can be like, oh, when I go outside, I feel like it's too quiet. I, I'm used to, you know, sirens going off, loud music, whatever may have you, depending on where you're from. Another reason why you can hate Atlanta is, you know, you just feel like, you know, you can't make friends here. You're having a hard time connecting with other women, other men. You know, what do I do? Another reason someone can say they hate Atlanta is, you know, you can't find a man. You move down here because you seen little baby in them and you was like, oh, you know, I'll get down there, I'm gonna find me a rapper too, or I'm gonna get put on one of these basketball players. And then you move down here and find out them folks don't really be here like that. Like they be here, but they don't be here all the time because they're working, they're doing other things. So you're moving places and you're not really realizing like, oh, it may not be like that all the time. And I think that's okay, right? Like you're ne it's never, nothing is ever gonna be a fun time every time. But again, to move somewhere and kind of be like, uh, it's just like you're settling in now. You live here now. You're not somebody who's visiting. Every time I visit Miami, I'm gonna just throw Miami out there for example. Every time I vis visit Miami, I have a grand time. I can't think of one time I visited Miami or Vegas or even the LA and had a bad time. So that's like me blindly moving there, not doing any job research, not doing like um, a good extensive sit back, let me see how it is when it's not turn up time. That's like me moving to those places and not knowing and then now I'm looking crazy because I'm like, oh, it only be like that when you move there. I don't know if y'all know this, but literally, it's like with anything in life, it be a good time, it be going crazy, but as soon as you put money into it, or as soon as you move there, as soon as you do anything permanent with it, then you like, dang, I slick shouldn't have did this. It's crazy, right? But that's how I feel about this city. Like, I mean, it's just so much I can go on and on about when it comes to this. But let's talk about some changes that have happened in Atlanta. So, um, a lot of the clubs that I patronize a lot, um, and let's call them out a little bit. Platinum, which is a strip club here in Atlanta. Um, my all-time favorite, that Gold Room. I just love me some Gold Room. I'm sick. That Gold Room has not been open for months now. Um, I love me some Gold Room. Um, Hyde is missing in action. Copper Cove, the infamous Copper, Copper Cove. Everybody knows about Copper Cove. That's when you went, if you was trying to find your little sign, sign little man or whatever. Copper Cove was the place to be. Copper Cove has been out of commission for some months. Now, what I'm about to say does not apply to all the places that I just listed, but it applies to a few. Right now, what's going on in Atlanta is, um, if you don't have the proper licensing, meaning like if you're serving liquor or if you have certain things in your club that you don't have licenses for, you don't have the proper credentials, they're snatching them things like Thanos. I am Like, like them infinity rings, they snatching them back like infinity rings. Like, no, they don't want people, um, in my opinion, I feel like it's a way to, to, to put, to knock us down a little bit. If I have to be honest, um, I, like I've said before, this is the place to be if you're black and you want to start a business. But however, I feel like they, I don't want to, you know, you know who they are. They're seeing, okay, people moving here. They block, buying up the blocks. It's a black business all up and through. It's all throughout Atlanta, even in the outskirts. Like we are thriving here, guys. It's crazy. Saying that to say, how else can you kind of bring somebody down off their pedestal a little bit? If you're serving liquor or, and another reason how they're shutting these clubs down, if you have more than one altercation. So like altercations could be the police being called, um, someone being shot, something happening at your club it's an automatic grounds for like, yeah, this is not your club no more. We're taking this back. The city is taking back these places. And um, if I had to say anything that, you know, makes me sad or hurts my feelings about what's going on in my city right now is they are definitely cracking down on, like you will not be running the business here if you have any kind of offense, again, in which a policeman has to be called or anything like, they're trying to get your ass up out of there. Like, that's just what's going on. So if I had to talk about, you know, something that I've seen that I've noticed, and it's impacting, it's hurting a lot of our 
clubs, a lot of our restaurants. It's hurting a lot of us because unfortunately, it's usually us who have these type of altercations at the club. It's usually us who have these things happen. So it's a way for them to target us you know, and make it seem like, oh, we're not targeting black people, we're not targeting black businesses, but unfortunately, these things mostly happen at black businesses. So, um, like I said, um, I don't wanna make this video too long, but um, if I can leave you guys with a message or anything to make you guys kinda like, be like, okay, I understand now. And if you're somebody watching this and you're thinking about moving here, take what I said into consideration. Go back and watch my Atlanta Slick series. I talk about where you should live. I talk about, you know, the type of person, whatever type of person you are, what side of town you should live on, things of that sort. Like, I really go in detail about this city and things like that. But I just want to leave you guys with this. Um, to me, I, I still love it here. I'm born and raised here. Um, I, I love Atlanta. I love Georgia and I don't think I'll be leaving anytime soon. If you're looking to move here and that's something that you wanna do, um, just again, do your research. Don't base you you moving here off of a couple lit weekends. I'm gonna be honest, it's, you're not gonna be, it, you're, it's just, that's not a reason in my opinion and you wanna get mad for me saying this. Moving somewhere because it's lit, it's not a reason to move there. Especially when you get here and you say stuff like, oh, I hate it here, or uh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. It's because you just came based off of that reason. If you sit back and do research on um, jobs and your target audience, if you have a business, like do that type of research first and then come back and say, oh, and then I do be lit when I be out there. I think you'll have a better uh, turnout on you know your next moving endeavor. Anyway, I just wanted to come and talk about that. Why do people hate Atlanta? I don't know, but I love it here. If you're thinking about moving here, I think you should. I think it's the place to be. If you guys want me to expand on any of the things that I talked about today in this video, I got you. Just let me know. Um, and yeah, we'll just go from there. But I love y'all. And welcome to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.